three 0 away to Oslo United today. That makes it back to back three 0 wins and back to back clean sheets. How pleased are you with the performance there, especially in the second half? Yeah, I think uh, the game they had a couple of chances in the, in the first half. To be fair, it was pretty even. Um, you know, I didn't really see the sending off. Um, he looked a late one, but I have played with Wally a long time. I know he's uh, he's an old Wally Fox, so you know probably probably went to, to have a little bit of a nibble at him, but probably didn't need to hurt him. So the ref seen it as a red card. Can't really comment because I didn't really see it that much. Um, but I thought performance wise, I thought it was excellent. This is a nice time place to come. Uh, there was a lot of um, banter flying around on on the pitch and through the benches and it was just about a case of keeping focus, the players kept focus, um, stuck to their tasks. Uh, we had a game plan, uh, I said you're going to have to stay, you know, it's going to be a battle first half. I said but they will tie up, they're not as fit as you. Um, yeah, we utilised that, we went 4 2 4 top end of the pitch um, and the goals came from the they're making the changes and just having a different dynamic to us, it was always going to be difficult, you know, the pitch is, is a great, um, a lot of balls in the air, a lot of physical duels, uh, but I thought they might more than matched them and I think you, know, you could argue first half, it probably could have been 1 0 up, maybe. 1 um, 1. We had a couple of great chances with Alex. He's kicking himself in there. Um, not, I'm getting on the score sheet. So, tough place to come. Um, so, I'm delighted with obviously the win. I'm delighted with the clean sheet again. Um, you know, the lads are in a rich vein of form at the minute. It's good. I don't want to focus too much on the red card, but it didn't seem to change the game too much to begin with, which is credit to Austin, really. Yeah, I thought, to be honest with you, they, they kind of galvanised a little bit. They moved the ball a little bit more instead of going direct. Um, you know, our runners coming off and, and seem to be probably better with 10 men, you probably argue. Um, so obviously they stood the big man up front from the back, uh, which I thought Cox and Reese dealt with his threat pretty well, nullified him. Uh, he was trying his all his antics to get on, on the end of something or, you know, and even the level uh, the scores up on the red cards. But we just kept focused, we kept that discipline, kept our professionalism. Um, and I'm really pleased that they've done that and then kind of put them to the sort of second half, um, which I always thought was going to happen. Um, and they scored some excellent goals, to be fair. Some really good goals. Uh, really pleasing to see. Um, TC getting on the score sheet. Jamie obviously picking up a couple again. You know, and, and it's important that these players hit the, in the form at the right time of the year now. Yeah, uh, that's Jamie Walker's 17th goal of the season. I think that makes him second in the league for the goal scorer in Vegas as well. I mean, how important has he been this season? I mean, he's only really picked up the goals in the last 12, 15 games, but he's scored plenty of them in that time. Yeah, and I think, you know, as a manager, you have to look at players and see where you can utilise them better. And, you know, uh, historically, he's always been a left winger, left wing back. Uh, he's got real quality, so, you know, probably a similar thing to what I did with Cam when I first came in. Um, you know, he's ended up scoring 20 goals from right back. I think you've got to look at players and see where you can utilise them the best. And Jamie's flourished since he's been in the 10 role. Um, you know, for a midfield player to be second joint or second goal scorer in the league, um, it's phenomenal, to be fair. Um, you know, but the whole team as a general give him a platform to do that. And, you know, he's, he's been absolutely fantastic the last probably six or seven weeks now. Um, you know, getting on the end of things, making stuff happen, producing members of quality when we need them. It's tenaciousness to us. He's you know, 20, 29 years old, but he's still got the drive and tenacity to keep going. So you know, I thought the back four was excellent today. I thought Willow was excellent when I come out of his box, which is what I want to see him do. I thought uh, the midfield worked tirelessly in there on a really heavy target horrible pitch, um, you know, things are bouncing and awkward bounces and he just tackles and he can believe in foot, so they just kept the discipline and, you know, and in the end the quality showed through. Um, we created the more chances. Uh, Laura Ravages said eventually you're gonna stick a few away. So uh, really pleased for, for the lads on the score sheet but I think with the team performance I'm, I'm over the moon with that and, and the clean sheet again is important. You know, something that's two goals in the last eight now conceded and to be fair those two goals we've conceded have only been for our own doing. So yeah really pleased that they're, they're in this form of this time of the season. How pleased were you with the contributions to the players that you brought on from the bench made? I mean, Hutchinson in particular, he got an assist and uh, helped to shower on with that assist as well. Yeah, I think, you know, having that experience, of course, um, you know, look at Jack, he just looks, he was completely scared of him when he came on. He's turned to his pace and directness. So, you know, I've said to the boys in there, this isn't an 11, uh, it's an 18 man squad. Uh, everybody's just as important. If not, the lads that come on are even more important because you just have to change the game. The lads that are out there, they're, they're doing the hard yards, but you're sent on to change as well as the game. So I've said to him before the game today, it was, it's, it's a group of 18 players, 19 players. We've got some missing that aren't with us today, but it's a, it's a collective and you're stronger together. Um, and it was evident today when they came on that the attitude was superb when they came on. Bradders coming on, you know, putting himself about, making sure he's, he's defending that clean sheet when he's called upon. Uh, so I can't, yeah, I can't really praise him highly enough today. Um, I knew what it was going to be like today. Uh, you know, it's. It's never easy to come here. Uh, you know what you're going to get. You know what kind of physical side they are, and they've got the dark arts off to a tee. So it was 
about my young team being professional, rising to that challenge, and, and then you know showing their quality in the second half, which they did. Um, so substitutes were excellent today. The goal made a difference. I think it gave us a little bit of a consistent to go on and win. get that second, third goal as well. Yeah. And it's back home next. You've got two good home games on the bounce now: Bradenton and then Hebburn. Uh, you've un named an unchanged team in the last three games. Is that something? You've, have you found a system that you really think that works in the last six, seven games as well, in particular? I think I, I think the lads have played well and, and, and justified to get their, their, their shirt, shirt again the week after. I don't think it's anything. You know, they're not looking tired. They're not looking jaded. I said this, that's a massive thing at this time of the year. If you're fitness, you're fitter than anybody else. You know, we work hard in training, we still run on Tuesday nights, you know, we, we've not changed anything that we're doing. I think the belief's there now as well, coupled with the, the hard work that they're putting in. Um, I think, you know, the players that played today and last week and the week before, they, they justify their, their starting shirt. So that's not to say that I won't make changes because, you know, they're doing some hard yards, a lot of travelling. We'll assess them this week in training, we'll train again this week, work hard, and I'll base it on that. Um, and they know what I'm like, there's no ears and graces with me, I'm not. Know, if you played a Premier League or seven step seven, it don't make odds to me. I judge it on what I see and what attitude they've got. So, you know, everyone's important, um, and especially with the running that we've got. You know, another tough, tough game next week, another tough game the week after that. Cruising in Canada today. You know, we've got to assess the players uh, and see where they're at. But for the for the for the whole, I think you, if you change a win inside and you get beat three 0 you can stand there and say oh, I got it wrong, but if you don't change it, you got it right. It's, it's hard as a manager, but I'll pick it on what I see, and I felt. That, you know, there's no need to change the winning side at the moment. I think we're all performing pretty well. The game plan that we've got is working. We know what we're doing. Everybody knows their roles and that's off the bench. So it's just a case of that at the moment. Keep, keep sticking to what we're doing.